I got asked, excuse me, by a friend of mine if I was going to make a part four of this series, and I guess I should. Basically, shout out to Yole Volvo, talented singer, for this idea. Glory to God for giving me the boldness to do this. But um, <clears throat> I really kind of want to dive into why I even made this series in the first place. How did it start up? Well, um, believe it or not, a little while ago I was... Um, I was scrolling through Instagram and then there was a um, Christian page that I followed and it basically talked about um, um, basically the confessions of former porn stars and things like that and talked about the exploitation, coercion and things like that. So it led me to actually um, it led me to actually take a look and like actually listen to the stories of these um of people who are former stars and I just listening to just the horrible ways that they were treated and and the things that they had to experience from you know and you know Jessica Rogers her story you know really got to me you know and believe it or not that story actually caused me to shed tears and and I was just like and when I mean, when I was a teenager, because technically I started watching porn when I was like 10. But when I was 11 was the first time I um was the first time I actually saw like um actually saw intercourse. And um, when I was 13 is how I figured out basically how to um, deactivate the history off of my parents computer. And so. It pretty much went from there. And then it got to a point where my mom gave me my own tablet. And I mean, you can finish the puzzle. But pretty much from the time that I was 13 to the time that I was 18, it just it just became it just became a regular thing. That self-relief, you know, stuff like that. You know, my dating relationships got, um, you know, especially throughout high school, my dating relationships were sexual and just things like that. This is a world, the, the whole just world of pornography is something that I entertained for so long. Now I want nothing to do with it. As a matter of fact, it, it has to burn. What I'm doing right now is contributing to destroying the world that I helped, the, that I contributed to. There is so much in the industry that people don't see. All they see is, is entertainment and, and stuff like that. But they don't see, they don't see what's really going on. There's so many reasons I stand against porn now. The thing I used to stand for, the thing I used to love, the thing I used to joke about with my friends is the thing that I stand against now. The way that it ruins relationships, yeah. The way that it ruins how men view women, and I mentioned this before, how women view men, how women view themselves, how men view themselves. How it took, how you got these managers and agents of these porn industries who take advantage who manipulate girls who were molested and raped and most likely probably victims of incest too when they were younger and they used them and turned them into dollars dollars by putting them out for the entire world to see and the entire world who's watching doesn't even know what's going on it's evil and I choose to hate it. To hate how these managers and agents take advantage of girls who were victims of rape and incest when they were young. How it takes, I hate, I choose to hate how it takes 
love, who d d d take something that's supposed to be based on intimacy, th that's supposed to be based on intimacy and pleasure, is now turned into something that's just strictly pleasure. Something that's supposed to be sacred and beautiful, that being sex, is now turned into basically a conversation with a bro to talk to his boys or a girl to talk to her girls and brag about their body count. It's gone from something beautiful and pure, from something beautiful and pure, within the walls of marriage and now turned it into a pastime activity for people to go and brag about today homies and talk about their body count and talk about yo shorty was on me last night and girls to be like Psh, girl mm. <laughs> i'm sorry for that but it's a world i want to see crumble I want to see it on fire. I want to see it on fire. You know, when I even put this series together, like a day after I released my first video, I had thoughts that this was going to get met with controversy. But you want to know something? I'm at a point right now where I don't care what anybody thinks about this. I'm at a point now where I don't care what anybody thinks about this. You can laugh at me. You can judge me. You can tell me that I'm wrong. But I will stand against this world that has manipulated people for way too long and has turned something beautiful into something that's just messed up, distorted, twisted, turned into a game And like I said before, I make no apologies for this. None. Something has to change. Point is evil. Point is evil. Point is evil. But I love y'all. And y'all keep staying strong out there. Y'all keep fighting this issue. Y'all stand strong against this issue, man. Glory to King Jesus, man. Let's do this thing together, y'all.